know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and I have a super fun treat today. I have a bowl of foam letters. We're going to use these letters for a fun game. I wrote my name, Poppy, and the names of my friends, Lucy and Manny, on these cards. Now we can spy letters and match them to the cards. I spy with my little eye. A letter with a long straight line, a curvy line, and it goes P. Do you see it? It's a P for Poppy. Let's do another one. I spy with my little eye a letter with a long straight line, a short straight line, and it says L. Do you see it? It's an L for Lucy. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Spelling all your friends, are you? Hey, Ollie. We're matching alphabet letters. I wonder if I can find an O in here for Ollie. Spelling friends' names is fun. It's true. And I know about a best friend for you. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at all of this mail that I have today. All of these people are showing love to each other with their cards. We've been learning that Jesus loves everyone. But do you think that really means everyone? Like no matter what? Well, I have a true story all about how Jesus loves everyone. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. When Jesus was teaching people how to love each other, he had a good friend named Peter. Jesus and Peter spent a lot of time together. Jesus taught Peter about God. Jesus let Peter help do important jobs. They were great friends. Then one night, some angry soldiers came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and said mean things to him. It scared Jesus' friends, so they ran away. But Peter followed Jesus and the angry soldiers. While Peter was waiting to see what would happen, a girl asked him if he was Jesus' friend. Peter was scared, so he said, no. Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. A little while later, another person asked Peter if he was Jesus' friend. And guess what Peter said this time? He said, no. That's two times Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. Then another person asked Peter if he was Jesus' friend. And guess what he said this time? He said, no, that's three times Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. But then Peter saw that Jesus was looking at him. Peter knew saying he was not Jesus' friend was wrong. He felt so bad that he went away and started crying. But wait, that is not the end of the story. Later, after Jesus died and came back, he talked with Peter. Jesus still loved Peter, no matter what, even though Peter said he was not Jesus' friend. Do you see someone who loves us no matter what? Look with me. Binoculars up. I spy with my little eye, Jesus. Jesus loved Peter and Jesus loves you no matter what. 
Knowing that Jesus still loved him and that they were still good friends made Peter so happy. From that day on, Peter told everyone that Jesus is God's son. He told them Jesus is alive and wants to be their friend forever. So many people believed in Jesus because of Peter. And guess what? You can believe in Jesus too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves us no matter what. He's the best friend ever for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus loved Peter even though he did something wrong. Jesus loves us too, no matter what. He's the best friend ever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Since Jesus is the best friend ever, let's try spelling out his name too. I wonder if I can find it. written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31.